welcome back to while i wait youtube channel we are so glad that you're part of this community single ladies you're welcome and thank you so much for calling one another and we are glad that you are learning through this platform so my name is Rhoda kidula kedaha mrs and as usual with me is the one and only the mm. beautiful hey. the extra <laughs> You Gosh, know you're I extra. I am. Yes. Ah, you're extra. Okay. So if you like when so. people are dancing like I this, believe you, you. you will go like this. <laughs> you are extra. Okay. And that Thank is what you. makes you unique. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So welcome. Today we are talking about fatigue, dating fatigue. Not Have sure. you ever got into that place <laughs> as a single lady and you're like, enough, I am tired of men. I'm tired of dating. Have you it's ever? It's a wrap. Yeah, it's a wrap. I'm done. <laughs> I think I was done several. <laughs> Look at me now. character development. Yeah, it's called character development. Mm. Because I think it's uh, because of the experiences we go through. Yeah, I think so. And too much expectation yeah. on men, on these boyfriends. We yeah. expect them to be A, B, C, D, and then they are not. And you're like, I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. Were yeah. you ever done? Yeah, I think I was... I was looking for a man who never existed the first oh. time I was done. Done. Uh -huh, done. done. Um, so, it, I, in our previous video, I think I mentioned about why it's important to have people you look up to when it yes. comes to marriage. Mm -hmm. So, that time there's a particular guy that mm -hmm. I really had a big crush on. Uh -huh. And I hoped it would work. <laughs> but then it didn't. He was like, Oh, you're my sister and all that. I'm like, why do you love people who do not love you? Why? Yes. Why? Why? And I really wanted that to work. Mm -hmm. So, and then, you know, um, you're looking up to men who you want them to complete you, but yes. that doesn't mm -hmm. really work. So it's like, why do relationships just keep failing yes. over and over, over and again. over again? And I was like, I'm not doing this. Enough, I, I'm done. I am so done. Mm -hmm. I need to find out why. Have you ever thought of becoming a nun? No. <laughs> I knew. <laughs> No, I, I, I was a nun, you but did. with a baby. <laughs> what? You're calling me extra. No, you are. No, like, uh, okay. Like, that's, you were that tired. That's the wrong question. No, I've never thought tired. of committing to celibacy. Just saying, I've just never, say, maybe God called me <laughs> not to, not get to ever get married. married. I, I don't think mine had got to that point. I feel like yours was yeah, really, I almost really went to a convent <laughs> okay, with <so> my child. <laughs> like, hey, anoint me. I am volunteering I'm a to be <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. I'm so sorry I didn't see that. I'm part. tired. What? Ah, I was what? tired. You, you didn't get that. Oh, I mean, I knew at some point I really didn't want to date anymore. Uh -huh. And because at some point I also felt like I was the problem uh -huh. and to some extent I was because you know the kind of person I wanted mm -hmm. honestly didn't exist I had this pile of expectations yeah. that you know as a man you have to one two mm -hmm. three four five and the people I was getting their you know weaknesses here and yeah. there and I'm Below like par. <clears throat> whatever I'm attracting exactly <laughs> who I yeah. am so I felt like I really really needed to check mm -hmm. on me like faith what's up yeah. what what's going why do you keep attracting this and this kind of mm -hmm. people who had you over and over and over again and then you know you you you're like i need you know a man who is already you know gotten yes. there and you're like yourself you have not even mm -hmm. i know so i had unrealistic expectations, expectations of uh -huh. what a man ought to be and i'm like god you know me very well mm -hmm. Just show me the things I need to work yes. on. Because I know if I am complete first in you. Because mm -hmm. no man is going to complete you. Yes. So I had to take some time off. And I told God to hide me. Me, mm -hmm. I don't want men. You don't you want know, men. Me. Ah. I was like, God, hide me. Hide me from all of them. All I, of I really them. I really don't want... Especially when a man is just coming to me and all the, the first thing they say is, you know, I own this and that. I'm mm -hmm. just like, oh, here we go again. Yeah, so another God, one. Hide me. Hide me and show me the yeah. things I need to work on because I was also hurting people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you see, most women, and I'm speaking this with all honesty, is we always say, you know, men have hurt us, one, two, mm -hmm. three. But then you don't realize you are also hurting people. Yes. So it's like, God with all honesty, mm -hmm. I don't know how many people have hurt, but I know I'm hurt. Mm -hmm. Show me. 
Yes. I want to be better for myself. Yes. I want to, my emotional intelligence to grow a to bit. Grow, yeah. Because I felt like I was, you know, all over the place. I was mm-hmm. a mess. Yeah. So I took that time off. But I knew I, I was not mm-hmm. called to be single. For, for me, I for was a nun. I think for me it was <laughs> uh, the the anger of being rejected. Mm. Hmm. You see the way you know. Hey Buddha, we are meant for each other. Know, and and, you, and the man is like, no, I'm done. And so I lingered there for a while. Yeah. And that time I was really mad. I was mm. done. I was like, all men are like this. Mm. I will never. It's now me and my child. Were you forever. ever mad at God? Yes. Yeah. I was mad at <sighs> God. But deep down I knew it was my stupid decision. That's true. That's true. God actually told me no, but I decided, ah. We want I will to play, play with fire, but I will never exactly. be burnt. And no. painting red flags yes. green because you want them so bad. Or pink mm. because I want it so bad. So for me, I think <laughs> I was done with men because of one particular Man. incident. Yeah. And I judged all men through that. that. Mm. But I, my recovery or yeah. <laughs> for me to end up here. Yeah. <laughs> how did I end up here? After having the back? dating fatigue we are talking about, I think my... Being close to God, being mm. serious with God. Yeah. God healed me no. and then he exposed me to marriages and men who yeah. were doing so well and yeah. they were treating their women so well. So Aww. I got to know, no, not all men are no. like this. No. And I'm not a done case. Yeah. You've talked about sometimes thinking I'm the problem. Yeah. Oh, you know, now I have a child. Oh, you know, I now know. You blaming, know, yourself eh, blaming myself. For, mm. I'm not good enough. Yeah. Anything that comes will go. Yeah. No. Yeah. So I think being close to God really helped me to yeah. open my eyes. Yeah. And then uh, knowing there's a man there mm. out there for me. So Just Rhoda, in you. the meantime, get busy. Yes. I was yes. so busy. Yes. yes. I was so busy. Yeah. By the way, I don't even remember any time I felt mm-hmm. so much. You know, the times I hear some single lady saying the whole month I've been depressed. The whole week I've been depressed, yeah. I'm single, no man. The, the thought came in yeah. and out, in and out. I thought, yeah. eh, Rhoda. Time. N- n- time. Oh, Sorry. Rhoda, pressure. Sorry. People are asking me. But just being under my blanket for a week because yeah. I'm single, I yeah. was so busy. Yeah. And I was being so single busy. is a blessing. It's a great season. You know, I mm-hmm. I remember, you know, in those youthful, I'm still a youth, yeah. that's five, but youthful. they're like between 18, mm-hmm. you know, to 23 when you attend those camps. Yeah. And, you know, you are being told how you want to, as a woman, you have to prepare yourself for marriage. Yes. And I'm like, many churches need to also teach men how to be good husbands and stop pushing women to just getting married. They feel like mm-hmm. getting married is the goal. Yes. And so women begin Begin to wonder why are men then not coming, coming and yeah. then you settle for anyone, anyone. who comes then the Being disappointment is the heart a blessing. the pain i know and you are the one who will go through it yes. your pastor will not go through mm-hmm. it your mentor will not god go forbid it. if you land on an abusive marriage yeah. you are the one to endure yes. that and again now here is the thing they're mm-hmm. like Vumilia. Mm-hmm. Just hold persevere. on. Persevere. Marriage is about perseverance. Uh, <laughs> we refuse that. We re- I did. Uh, it's I not did. about perseverance. Being Marriage is for enjoying. It's a blessing. <laughs> and I also un- came to understand that when mm-hmm. you feel that you're tired of dating, mm-hmm. it is a calling. Mm-hmm. God is telling you, you step aside, yes. find you find you and come find me me and then usually there are women who say oh in this season you know there were not men god needed your attention mm-hmm. like hey focus on me wow, first that i is wired deep. you mm-hmm. i know what you deserve yeah. mm-hmm. not what you feel like you mm-hmm. need no 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 he knows you best what so you during deserve. that time as Rada said just mm-hmm. you know spend time with god Same get to know god, yeah. get and Ask God to expose you to yourself. To yourself. Get to know. Because we yep. also have people making stupid decisions because of the fatigue. Yeah. You know, uh, all men are like this, so let me just I know. say yes to anyone who comes, who comes. And then you find yourself in a very bad situation. I know. I know. <sighs> and being in a relationship is not the goal, it's honestly. Not the goal. Yeah. When was the last time you even thought about what else you can do with your life? Mm-hmm. If you what are Anne and you are watching us, who is Anne mm-hmm. beyond a relationship? Yes. Who is Esther? Who is Becky? Hi, exactly. Becky. Hi. <laughs> Hi. You are our number one friend. <laughs> like, who are mm-hmm. you? Take time off yeah. that territory and find you. Ask God to expose you mm-hmm. to you. 
you know, connect yeah. you to the right and, and people, to the right places, mm -hmm. become mature for And, and also, first. I think what I would have done for yeah. me was to define my fatigue. Why am I tired mm. of dating? That's Is true. it because, as Faith says, your expectations have not been met? Yeah. You are dating a man who does not exist? Ugh, yeah. Is it because you've Trevor been hurt? Trevor Noah. Hi. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I used to watch Trevor Noah and then I used to tell my mentor. That's why I'm like, it's good to have mentors who we'll just see mm -hmm. you. For. He used to tell me, me, mm -hmm. I want to get married to, you know, that guy. And I was so young. So it was like, but that guy is, I'm like, yeah, if he doesn't you look like that. If he doesn't look like that. You didn't even get my own yeah, screen. told to tell to my mom, my, my own mom. Mom, yeah. uh, I know I'm your only daughter, but I'm not getting married around here. Now, <laughs> you, are, you had you the scholarship, the, ah, the masters. You, if you had gone to SA, where is Trevor now from? I'm so happy I'm Mr. married. To <laughs> and then I used to say yeah. I will never get married to a Kamba, especially from Makueni. God has a sense <laughs> Never say never. Yeah. Emmanuel is from Makueni. Yeah. Pure Kamba. Is that? Mm -hmm. So yeah. actually the fatigue, Those fatigue from makes you declare things about yourself I which know. are also not realistic. And sometimes you can also bring problems about uh, on yourself because the so power true. of the tongue. You are so fatigued now, you start declaring yeah. things about men. And yeah. in the future, you might have a son. Who I knows? Sure. And you've oh. already cast men. You've cast I your know. brothers, your father, your uncles. Yeah. So don't let that fatigue make you speak things yeah. and post things. Exactly. And even expose people. Mm -hmm. Some of us, by the way, <laughs> if, we, if we were to expose people. I know, right? I know, We need right? silence. Can I they know. edit just <sighs> silence? We, we have people we can expose, mm -hmm. and, but mm -hmm. what would it benefit nah, us? No, nah, no, no. And then allow God to introduce mm -hmm. you to your ideal man. Yes. You may have that picture, that list. like the one I had. <laughs> mm -hmm. But then allow God to introduce you to your ideal mm -hmm. man. That's when, if you're fatigued and you're watching this, yeah. it's high time you connected with God. Yes. Allow him to introduce you to, to yourself, yourself. Mm -hmm. and he will also introduce you to your ideal mm -hmm. man. Maybe what you think doesn't exist. Yeah. And let that fatigue be a stepping stone. Absolutely. Don't m let it crush you mm. because sometimes you can be so fatigued and that is the time now Rhonda is posting her man. Everyone looks so happy. Yeah. Faith is posting Mr. Kiteki. Oh, my husband. Yeah. And you're like, we are even now irritating you. It's true. It's true. It's so true. allow that season, yeah. even with that fatigue, yeah. don't let it make you worse than you are it's true and i think mm -hmm. my parting shot for this is mm -hmm. this is your journey yeah embrace it mm -hmm. and the fact that you know god sees you are tomorrow yeah. that is something you cannot see now yes you are in safe hands mm -hmm. he knows who you deserve he knows mm -hmm. your needs and he knows exactly yeah how you feel mm -hmm. so he got you and he heals the broken heart oh yeah fatigue oh, is fine. also brought by it is. Bro broken hearts yeah. you've been heartbroken you've been and this character development can be hard. Can I, you know? We are laughing now, but there are times <laughs> we were also crying because of yeah. the same men yeah. we, are, we are talking about. But mm. um, God heals broken hearts. He Just go to him yeah. and with your fatigue. And you can be honest with this him and say, oh God, you know what Jacob has done. <laughs> you know what Peter has done. Yeah. You know what James has done. Right, right, so right. please, Lord, just heal me. Yeah. And allow him to help you let go of the bitterness the Absolutely. anger the fatigue yeah. because you won't move with it yeah you won't yeah. move with it so yeah. fatigue happens it's normal yeah. there's nothing wrong with you just define it and let it mm -hmm. be a stepping stone for you the next level absolutely mm -hmm. heal forgive and just let god mm -hmm. and don't declare things don't Where? go to any convent. Where? Don't. You are not a nun. <laughs> you know that. You are not called to be that. <laughs> anyway, follow us on our social media platforms. We are on Facebook. We are on, on yeah, oh my God. Instagram. We are on Facebook, Instagram, mm -hmm. LinkedIn. And now we are on YouTube. Please mm -hmm. subscribe and let us know what you want us to talk about next. And a time like now, next Friday. See ya. Bye.